the choice of the right adsorbent for a given separation task requires deep understanding of the various uh, factors that contribute to the uh, adsorbate adsorbent interaction potentials. If we ignore pi complexation and chemical bonding, the uh, major contributions to the adsorbate adsorbent interaction potentials are the London van der Waals interactions and the electrostatic interactions. The uh, background information and details are provided in the supporting information to my uh, paper published in ACS Omega in 2022. Watch also the uh, video presentation Adsorption versus Diffusion in Fungicide Zeolite on my YouTube channel. The uh, London van der Waals interactions consist of uh, the sum of the attraction and repulsion forces that are uh, usually expressed in this form, where R is the distance between uh, the uh, adsorbate and adsorbent. The uh, forces of attraction and repulsion are proportional to the polarizabilities alpha of both these adsorbate and adsorbent atoms on the surface. And the polarizability increase with the size of the molecules. The expression for A and B are provided here, where C is the speed of light, he is the uh, magnetic susceptibility. It is very common to write the uh, London van der Waals interaction in terms of uh, Leonard Jones 612 potential. It is interesting to note that uh, despite what the name uh, London might suggest, Fritz Wolfgang London was actually a German. Johannes Diederich van der Waals <coughs> won the Nobel Prize in 1910 and uh, he uh, was a professor at the University of Amsterdam where I am also located. The uh, separation of noble gases such as helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon are essentially based on the differences in the polarizability that are in turn related to the uh, molecular weight or molar mass of the uh, noble gases. The larger the gas molecule, the larger is the polarizability and the stronger is the adsorption strength. Watch also my uh, presentation on uh, separation of noble gases on my YouTube channel. The uh, separation of uh, hydrocarbons such as methane, ethane, propane, uh, nominal arcanes are also based on the uh, differences in the uh, polarizabilities that are related to the molar masses of the uh, adsorbates.
Let us examine the key properties such as polarizability, dipole moment, and quadrupole moments of uh, guest molecules such as carbon dioxide, methane, carbon monoxide, nitrogen, and oxygen. Here I plot the polarizability versus the quadrupole moment. And we note that uh, the polarizability of uh, methane is uh, practically uh, the same as that for carbon dioxide, but carbon dioxide has a significantly higher quadrupole moment. We also note that the quadrupole moment of nitrogen is about a factor four higher than that of oxygen. Of these gas molecules, only carbon monoxide has a dipole moment. For separating CO2 from methane, we can exploit the uh, large difference in the quadrupole moments between CO2 and methane. Methane is, has a zero quadrupole moment by um, electrostatic interactions with the uh, extra framework cations. Similarly, the selective absorption of nitrogen from mixtures uh, with oxygen is achieved because of the large quadrupole moment of nitrogen that is uh, four times larger than that of um, oxygen. For CO2 capture from flue gases, we rely on the large differences between the quadrupole moments of CO2 and nitrogen. And also the polarizability of CO2 is higher than that of nitrogen. Let us examine the uh, electrostatic interactions between uh, a gas molecule and the extra framework cation that can be either lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, or barium. Also indicate here the uh, size of the cation, the radius of the cation in angstrom values. Let R represents the distance between uh, the center of the gas molecule and the center of the cation. Basically, we can um, distinguish between uh, three types of electrostatic interaction potentials. One due to induced dipoles. The second one due to the interaction of the electrical field with the permanent dipole of the uh, guest uh, molecule. And Thirdly, we have the interaction of the electrical field gradient with the uh, quadrupole moment of the gas molecule. Here Q represents the charges of the extra framework cation, and R is the distance from center to center between the guest and the cations. In all cases, we note that the potential energy of interaction is proportional to the charge or the square of the charge and inversely proportional to the distance to the power two, distance to the power three, and the center to center distance to the power four. In other words, larger electrostatic interactions achieved with smaller cations because the center to center distance is uh, smaller if the radius of the extra framework cations is smaller. The electrostatic interactions increase with uh, the valency of the um, extra framework cation, a bivalent barium cation would uh, contribute to a greater extent to the electrostatic uh, interactions. And uh, larger dipole 
larger quadrupole, higher polarizability will all lead to larger magnitudes of electrostatic potentials. 